Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Plasma, and today I'm going to talk about compass directions and how you can tell which direction the player is facing. So if I look north, I can go on the F3 screen, I can actually determine that I am looking north, not just by here, but through commands, and I can actually act on that. And so now I'm looking west, and now I'm looking south, and now I'm looking east. But I can actually get more specific than that. I can actually get as specific as I want about that. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So over here, I've got four different command blocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to look inside these. And so what we can do is we can actually use the, int the entity tag condition Y rotation. And what Y rotation will do is it'll give us a circle between negative 180 and positive 180. And that will give us the ability to determine which way the player is looking. And so if I actually go in here and I split it on the 45s, I can actually cut it so that when we are going south, when we are looking south, it says south. When we, when we look east, it says east. When north, it says north. And west, it says west. But we can actually do one better than that. We can actually cut it on the divisions in between the 45s. And so the numbers you're going to want to know are 22.5, 67.5, 112.5, .5, and 157.5. And that's going to give us the ability to actually cut it so that we can go any direction we want. And so I'm going to show you an example of just one thing you can do. I'm actually pl planning this for a much bigger project in the future. But for now, this is what I've been working on. So doing a video on it, I've got this right here, which lets us shoot arrows wherever we look. And I'm using another trick here where we can actually aim them and move them around because it's locked to where I'm looking at. You see that? So I can actually, and not only firing them in one direction, I can actually kind of give a little bit of control to where I fire them. I can swing in a circle and swing them around. And the reason for that is because in addition to that, when I spawn them, I'm not doing it at the tilde 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 relative to me. I'm actually using these. So what is this? Well, you'll notice if you look at some of these that they're the same for all of them. And what the carrots are, if you didn't know, the carrots are relative to the direction you're looking. And so because I'm looking this direction, it's going to be one block up. So it's going to be, and then it's going to be two blocks straight ahead. And so these are actually local coordinates. They're not global. And so this is not X, Y, and Z. This is, positive Z is forward in the direction I'm looking. No matter where I'm looking, that's positive on the Z axis. And left is negative on the X axis, and right is, so for example, if I come over here and I go, this is the north block, and I go negative one, they're going to slide over to the left. And so you can see, I'll call me a liar, um, looks like actually it's backwards, where going to the right on the X is negative. So the x axis is actually backwards for the carrots. And so that's actually very interesting. But um, for the z, it's positive. And so the y is exactly what you would expect. But by doing two, it means two blocks forward. And so you might consider doing this, doing carrot, 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 and then changing the z to be a positive number to make things happen in front of the player wherever they look. So that's another trick. So haven't really played with this too much yet. But there's definitely some more powerful things than you can do than just an infinite arrow machine gun. That's all I got for today. Here's some videos if you're interested in more commands. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.